Hello guys, welcome to easylearning.guru. In today's session, we will be starting with introduction to this course. So have a look. In this course, we'll be talking about Apache PIC, which is a data platform that offers a high-level language with rich data analysis capabilities, making it easy to harness the power of MapReduce in a simplified manner. And I hope you guys are aware with Hadoop ecosystem, which is a collection of tools and technologies. And Apache PIC is a part of Hadoop ecosystem. So let me give you a brief description about Hadoop. Hadoop, which is a platform for storing and analyzing huge volumes of data sets on multiple machines across the cluster. Then we are having HDFS and MapReduce, which are the core components of a Hadoop ecosystem, which uh, we'll be going to cover later in this uh, course. So let's check it out, what you will learn in this course. This course will cover in-depth knowledge of Apache PIC starting with first module 1. This module covers the fundamental characteristics of Big Data and Hadoop and its components. We'll start with introduction to Apache PIC and its importance. Then we will discuss about how PIC provides abstraction for writing the MapReduce jobs where we can use Apache PIC and where not. Module 2 covers the language and explanation which is utilized by Apache PIC. And after that, we'll talk about how to begin PIC in different environments, furthermore, its architecture. So this is basically the part for Module 2. Then in next module, that is Module 3, we'll examine PIC's data model and operators. And besides, we'll look about how it can be applied on data. Then we are having Module 4. We'll discuss about built-in functions and its execution loading and storing of data in order to perform various transformations. Then in module 5, we'll cover the PIC scripts which can be utilized for data which occurred multiple times. To optimize the code, sometimes we need a user-defined function. User-defined function can be defined in Java, Python, or any host language. Furthermore, we'll be calling UDFS in PIC. This is basically the part for PIC script and UDFS. Now we'll be going to have control structures, which is part of module six, covers embedding a PIC statements in Java, and we'll discuss the PIC macros to provide the dynamic values to the PIC scripts. We use parameter substitution method also. So this is basically the part for control structures. Then we're having module seven. So this module covers the shell and utility commands. Then we're having module eight, covers the compression of input, output, and partial results which uh, can be generated between the map and reduce jobs. Then we are having module 9 where we'll discuss about the diagnostic operators that can be utilized to diagnose the PIC statements and then we'll discuss the PIC unit testing also where we'll be going to write the test cases for UDF functions. Now, lastly, we are having module 10. So in this module, we'll be going to discuss the project that is based on real-time data sets. It can be structured, semi-structured, or else it can be unstructured data too. So this is all about the introduction to PIG and their modules, which we'll be going to cover under the Apache PIG course.